The Chicago Bears just did something they haven't done in years. Scoring 35 points in back-to-back -back games, this kind of offensive firepower hasn't been seen since the days of Mark Tressman, and it's a sign that things are finally starting to click. For most of the season, the Bears weren't living up to the hype. Fans expected them to be one of the top teams in the league, but it felt like they couldn't get anything going. Now all of a sudden it's like a switch has flipped and both the offense and defense are firing on all cylinders. The offense in particular looks much sharper. We're seeing more balance between the passing and running game, which is making life a lot harder for opposing defenses. Meanwhile, the defense, which has been solid all season, continues to keep things under control. When you've got both sides of the ball working like this, it's a recipe for success. So what's changed? Why is this team finally starting to look like the Bears everyone thought they could be? Let's dive into the details of their recent game and see how they completely took over from start to finish. But before we get into that, hit that like and subscribe button for more NFL content. Let's aim for 200 likes on this video, Bears fans. The Bears' recent win against the Jacksonville Jaguars wasn't just any victory. It was a complete domination from start to finish. From the very first snap, the Bears controlled every aspect of the game. Whether it was on offense, defense, or special teams, they outclassed the Jaguars in every statistical category. It wasn't even close. What really stood out was how the Bears didn't give Jacksonville a single chance to get back into the game. The defense was relentless, shutting down their running game and applying constant pressure on their quarterback. On the offensive side, the Bears were firing on all cylinders, moving the ball with ease, both through the air and on the ground. When you dominate every facet of the game like that, winning becomes almost inevitable. This victory showed what the Bears are capable of when everything comes together. It was a statement game proving they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone in the league when they play like this, but the real key behind this dominant performance was their run game, which finally came to life in a big way. One of the biggest reasons for the Bears' recent surge has been the revival of their run game. Early in the season, their ground attack was one of the worst in the league and that made everything harder. When you can't run the ball, the defense knows what's coming, and it puts too much pressure on the passing game. But now, things are different. DeAndre Swift has finally found his groove, and the results are showing. He's become the kind of running back the Bears hoped for, consistently picking up solid yards and keeping defenses on their heels. In their win against the Jaguars, Swift was averaging more than five yards per carry, and that kind of production opens up so many options for the offense. With the run game now a legitimate threat, the Bears' offense is more balanced, and it takes a lot of the weight off their young quarterback. When the defense has to respect the run, everything else starts to flow better. This improvement on the ground has been key to the Bears' recent success, and it's setting the stage for their quarterback, Caleb Williams, to shine even brighter. Caleb Williams has been turning heads lately, showing everyone why he was so highly regarded coming into the season. At the start, there were some understandable growing pains. But over the past few games, Williams has started to look like the real deal. He's been more accurate, more confident, and most importantly, he's making better decisions with the football. In just the last two games, Williams has thrown for over 500 yards with six touchdowns and only one interception. What's even more impressive is his completion rate, which has soared above 70%. He's not forcing throws like he did earlier in the year, and he's doing a much better job of going through his reads. That's allowing him to find open receivers and make plays down the field. Of course, a lot of this improvement has come with the help of a more balanced offense, but make no mistake, Williams is doing his part. His ability to keep the ball out of harm's way while still making big plays is exactly what you want in a quarterback. As he continues to grow more comfortable, especially with the weapons around him, it's becoming clear that Williams is a star in the making. One of the biggest reasons Caleb Williams has been able to step up his game is the support he's getting from his talented receiving core. At the start of the season, it felt like this group was struggling to find their rhythm, but now they're firing on all cylinders, and it's making a huge difference. It all starts with DJ Moore, who has cemented himself as Williams' go-to guy. Whenever Moore gets a one-on-one -on -one matchup, Williams isn't afraid to take the shot, and more often than not, Moore comes down with the ball. His ability to make tough catches even with defenders draped all over him, has been key to keeping the offense moving. And it's not just the catches, Moore's also racking up yards after the catch, turning short gains into big plays. Then there's the veteran presence of Keenan Allen. Even though he's getting older, he's still making critical plays when it matters. His recent touchdown against the Jaguars is a perfect example of how he can still make an impact, especially in big moments. Pairing Allen with Moore gives the Bears 
a reliable one-two punch. On top of that, rookie Romo Dunze is showing flashes of his potential. He's still learning, but he's already made some important plays and is only going to get better with more experience. And let's not forget tight end Cole Calmet, who has quietly become one of Williams' favorite targets. He's reliable in clutch situations, making contested catches and picking up extra yards after the catch. The offensive success the Bears are having right now isn't just about the players stepping up. It's also about the game plan. Offensive coordinator Shane Waldron deserves a lot of credit for how he's putting everything together. He's been smart about mixing the run and pass, keeping defenses on their toes, and using play action to make the most of Caleb Williams' talents. One of the biggest changes Waldron has made is leaning more on the run game, especially now that DeAndre Swift is rolling. This has forced defenses to respect the run, which in turn opens up the passing lanes for Williams by sticking to a balanced attack. Waldron is making sure the offense isn't one-dimensional, and that's giving Williams more time and space to operate. Waldron has also done a great job of scheming plays that get the ball into the hands of his playmakers. Whether it's quick passes to DJ Moore or deep shots to Keenan Allen, he's making sure the offense is playing to its strengths. This approach has already propelled the Bears into the top 12 in points per game. And if Waldron continues to mix things up and keep defenses guessing, it's only a matter of time before they crack the top 10. But while the offense has been making headlines, we all know you need a strong defense to go the distance, and the Bears have that covered too. While the Bears' offense has been getting a lot of attention lately, their defense has been rock solid from day one. This unit has been a major reason for the team's success, and it's no surprise that they rank in the top five in points allowed per game. When your defense is keeping opponents off the scoreboard like that, it takes a lot of pressure off the offense and gives the team a better chance to win every week. What's really driving this defense is their ability to limit teams not just in scoring but in overall yardage. They're also a top 10 team in total yards allowed, keeping opponents under 300 yards per game. That's huge in today's NFL, where high-powered offenses can take over games in a heartbeat. But against the Bears, moving the ball has been a serious challenge for opposing teams. At the heart of this defense is their relentless pass rush. In the recent win over the Jaguars, they recorded 22 pressures and four sacks, completely disrupting the opposing quarterback. When you can pressure the quarterback like that, it makes life easier for the rest of the defense. Not only are they forcing mistakes, but they're also putting teams in tough third down situations where it's hard to convert. But it's not just about the defensive line. The linebackers have been shutting down the run, making it nearly impossible for teams to get anything going on the ground. This well-rounded front seven has been a nightmare for opposing offenses, and it's a big reason why the Bears have been so tough to beat. The Chicago Bears are finally looking like the team fans were hoping for at the start of the season. Both the offense and defense are coming together at just the right time, and the results speak for themselves. With a revitalized run game, a young quarterback who's growing into a star, and a defense that's been rock solid all year. The Bears are on a promising trajectory. But the question now is, can they keep it up? Will Caleb Williams continue to develop and lead this offense to even greater heights? Can DeAndre Swift maintain his momentum and keep the ground game rolling? And of course, can this defense, with all its depth and resilience, stay dominant as they push for a playoff spot? So Bears fans, what do you think? Is this team ready to make some noise in the postseason? And how far do you believe they can take this momentum? Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more Bears and all the NFL content. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.